Hey all, DJ Legion here. Um, can I show you some new stuff, some new acquisitions, some new vinyl that I picked up in the last few weeks. Didn't get a lot of stuff because of Christmas and um, Christmas and New Year's. You know, I had other things to, <laughs> to spend my quote unquote disposable income on. So um, anyway, but I will show you the few pieces that I have and um, you know, it's all different genres as usual. So let's just get into it. Uh, this first one is RSO Prime Cuts. It is a 10 inch, 33 RPM from RSO Records. Those are the ones who did Saturday Night Fever, the soundtrack. And uh, it's basically just a sampler album of artists that are on that label, um, including uh, Eric Clapton, Jack Bruce, The Bee Gees, Freddie King, um, so, and others, it's kind of neat how they did a butcher theme on it, anyway, yeah, 10 inch vinyl, I don't have a lot of those, so it's a very unique piece, it's from the UK, actually, um, so, anyway, it's great stuff, also got a copy of Cher's Dark Lady, got this one for free, actually, uh, thanks to my wife. And the shrink wrap was still on it, but it was coming off, so I went ahead and took it off the rest of the way. But it's in great condition. Um, this has Dark Lady, of course, uh, Train of Thought. I Saw a Man and He Danced with His Wife. And a few of the other hits. 1970, uh, what does it say here? 74. 74. I always liked the MCA and Liberty era share music. Um, I liked the first album when she went over to Geffen. I mean, had that big comeback with um, that album, but, and, you know, some of the stuff she's done since then is okay, but really this is the classic Cher period. Twisted Sister, We're Not Gonna Take It. This is the 12-inch uh, single for the track. This is from the UK. Um, and I know I'm dating myself here, but um, <laughs> I have wanted this specific single since it came out in 1984, this version, the 12-inch version, because a friend of mine got one um, when uh, the album came out, the Stay Hungry album. And um, I saw his, and I had to have one. And now here we are, 32 years later, <laughs> and I have my own. Damn it. Yeah. Great stuff. Um, this is Tony Orlando and Don, the new Ragtime Follies. This is 1973. On Bell Records, has a few of their hits as well. Sweet Gypsy Rose, Who's in the Strawberry Patch, and Stepping Out, I'm Gonna Boogie Tonight. All of those wound up on his Greatest Hits album. Um, this is in great shape as well. Um, not a huge fan of Tony Orlando and Don, but, um, you know, the Greatest Hits album is good. I've got a couple of other ones now, including this one. Um, so... That one was also free as well, so I can't argue with the price. I picked this up. This is a, uh, once again, a compilation sampler album from Columbia Records called Different Strokes. And um, it's sealed, mint, never opened. Paid $3 for it. Um, it has, um, let's see who's on here. Johnny Winter and the Gamblers. Tom Rush, Miles Davis. Big Brother and the Holden Company, uh, Spirit. Uh, Spirit was that band that uh, suing Led Zeppelin over the opening guitar piece of Stairway to Heaven, if you remember that scandal from a couple of years back. So anyway, I see this in a lot of places. It's not that rare, but I found a sealed copy of it. So, you know, I'm going to crack the seal on it at some point, throw it on and check it out. Uh, I got here the George Sharing Quintet with Nancy Wilson. Um, I like these albums. It's, you know, a five-piece jazz band, basically. And they have um, a guest uh, vocalist, and this time it's the, um, it's Nancy Wilson, who I love a lot. Um, I have one with Dakota Stanton already, so usually th this is you know, got 10 songs on it, or, and, um, or 12 songs. Half of them have the vocals with Nancy Wilson and half are instrumentals. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I have the uh, the one with Dakota Stanton, so I really, um, 
I was, you know, when I saw this, I said, oh, I'm going to get that one as well because I love Nancy Wilson. I don't know what year this is. It's on Capitol. It's not going to give me the year, I believe. But from the 60s, you know, I would imagine. <clears throat> Another compilation album. This is Anti with Hot Wax. The Anti record label, um, which has a lot of great artists that you don't hear about on there, including Betty LeVette, Mavis Staples. Um, they're all on the Anti label. And this has um, the artist. The only one I'm familiar with is uh, Mavis Staples. The rest of them I don't know. The Milk Carton Kids, Broken Twin, Dr. Dog, um, Man Man, Lost in the Trees, Nico Case. Um, that's the great thing about these types of albums is you can get turned on to a lot of new artists that you're not familiar with. Uh, like I said, I know Betty LeVette and um, Mavis Staples record on this label, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so I'm going to check it out. I haven't, um, I played it, you know, I played it one side I think once. Interesting stuff. Got to really sit down and pay attention to it a little better. But, um... Anti, Anti Records. And let's see here. Got another compilation album. This is Genuine House Rockin' Music from Alligator Records. It's a sampler of um, 11 of their artists as well um, on here, including Lonnie Mack, Lonnie Brooks, Albert Collins, Johnny Winter, Coco Taylor. A lot of blues legends on this thing here. Hound Dog Taylor and the House Rockers, which is where they got the title, Genuine House Rock and Music. Um, Alligator Records is the blues label uh, in the United States. It has been since the 70s. Um, and so I don't know what I paid for this, but once again, only a few bucks. Once again, I knew about half the artists on here. Didn't know the other half, but there's some great blues, some great guitar blues on this thing. And so, you know, once again, you find out new artist and new music um, that you're not familiar with and um, you can go and explore a little deeper if you wish so it's good stuff everything on alligator is is a win they have lots of great artists on that label and the songs of bessie smith Teresa brewer on vocals count basie on uh was doing the the band um I was not impressed with this. I paid a buck for this. Um, and, you know, I'm thinking I love Bessie Smith. I love Teresa Brew and I love Count Basie. It's going to be a win. But sadly, Teresa Brewer's voice is just doesn't have the soul uh, that it needs to pull off these songs. Uh, you know, the old Bessie Smith songs. Um, you know, maybe Staples could probably do it. Betty LeVette could probably do it. Nancy Wilson could probably do it. But... You know, it's not bad. It's just that Teresa just doesn't ever seem to turn the corner on um, on these songs. So, you know, I paid a buck for it. I may or may not keep it around. I don't know. I just purged uh, 17 albums out of my collection last night, actually. I went through and um, stuff I hadn't played in years and stuff I'm not planning on playing. Um, I went ahead and purged it. This one survived uh, this time because I just got it. Um, but... Um, I don't know how long this is going to stay around. And finally, the piece I'm most excited to get. Um, where's that other? Okay. The Everly Brothers. Songs Our Daddy Taught Us, 1958 on Cadence Records. Um, this one I did not get for a buck or two. <laughs> this one was kind of spendy. Paid uh, $25 to get this. And it is... Excellent. And really, it's this is the album that inspired... Let me see if I have it. Uh, this album here. This this Billy Joe Armstrong and Nora Jones is a track-by-track -track remake of this record, the Everly Brothers album. So, same songs, different track listing, but the exact same uh, 12 songs are on uh, both albums. So it was great to go back because I love this thing. This is fantastic if you don't have this. This is a must own. So good. Um, but now I was able to go back and find the original versions of those songs on this album. And um, they're even more haunting and beautiful than 
the the new versions. So now I have the set. Got the remakes and I've got the original. So it's great, great stuff. All right, that is it, my friends. That is all. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you did not like this video, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe. Lots of great videos on my channel, so uh, check them out. And um, I will see you all again um, no later than next week, I'm sure. I got another piece of vinyl that should have been here. Um, I ordered it 11 days ago. I don't know what the hell is taking so long. But um, anyway, hopefully it'll be here soon. I can throw it up and do a video of it because it's that, that album alone is worth my whole video in and of itself. So I'll see you all again. Have a great, great day.